Yeah, what's going on everybody? Llama here and I've got some Halo Infinite gameplay. So I've been uploading a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 the past week or so here and I was kind of bored of the game, you know, um, it's still in pre-release. The official game's not actually out until the 16th when Warzone 2 drops, so for now we are stuck playing a, uh, a beta of a game pretty much and it's like once you hit level 55 there's nothing to do. I was uh, looking for some games to play and I was like... Oh shit, I forgot Halo Infinite just put out a major winter release update. They just put out a new battle pass and everything. Um, I think it came out two or three days ago uh, at the time of me making this video. Also, I get shit on when I try to take this fucking Banshee. You can tell I haven't played Halo in about a year. Here's me shooting at this guy and I was trying to like turbo boost and I couldn't until he hijacks it. So I end up getting shit on here, but do pretty well this game and um... Yeah, I haven't played Halo in like almost a year, but fucking the new winter update is out, and this game is just a lot of fun to play. I think it actually will help me out in Call of Duty too, because it'll help me with my aim. Um, but just the audio is so much better. Like you can actually hear where enemies are in this game compared to Modern Warfare 2. Um, that is just a brush of fresh air. Fresh air, honestly, it's very fun to play. Um, the guns feel really good, just like shooting the pistol in this game is feel- it's just so fucking fun to shoot this, and like, I don't know, the game's pretty cool. Bunch of different game modes, and it's free to play too, so it's like, you can't really hate on it too much. Um, they added some new stuff to the battle pass, added some more weapon, uh, or um, XP progression, I'm sorry, after every game, so you get like XP just for playing games now. Um, I know the battle pass is kind of grindy in Halo games, it does take a while to level up compared to Call of Duty where you have like the 55 levels and traditionally you had prestige modes, so you're constantly leveling up almost uh, every other game it seems like, to where Halo you can get like 5 or 10 games in between before leveling up in the battle pass, so definitely different, but it's honestly a faster paced game than MW2 for me right now, and like I said, more health in it, so um the better like skilled player usually wins most gunfights uh yeah there's some stupid shit in it but overall it's very fun i'm playing this new game mode i think it was actually my first time playing it so it's called attrition it's pretty cool so each team spawns um it's like tdm it counts down as you can see at the bottom there i think each team has eight respawns um and it's first one to two uh round win so after all eight lives are gone each team is down to their final life and uh, if you eliminate them before you eliminate, or before they eliminate you, um, do that two times and you win. Here you can see me shooting the guy in the back. Very rusty there. Um, I let somebody else take the <laughs> take that this time because I'm like, I'm not even going to try to fucking pilot that thing. I got shit on and embarrassed last time I did it, but doing very well this game. Like I said, I always love using the pistol in this game. Um, if you guys have not played Halo Master Chief Collection, I would, and you have an Xbox and Game Pass, like it's free, 1000% download it, but try, uh, Halo Combat Evolved multiplayer. The pistol in this game is kind of a throwback to the original Halo game, and I didn't really play it at the time. I wasn't really old enough or had an Xbox when that game came out, but uh, it's just so much fucking fun to use. Like, if you have any type of aim whatsoever, it's very satisfying and rewarding to shoot somebody with a pistol in this game. So, like I said, having a lot of fun with it. And even the uh, assault rifle is kind of cool here, too. I was using the battle rifle, and I could pick that up, and it is a very monstrous of a gun like you don't even have to scope in just putting the uh the burst on somebody it's very nostalgic and just like i said funny shit to play this game so i'm gonna jump back and forth between this and call of duty yeah call of duty is a good game but after playing this i went back to cod and i was like ah, the the gameplay feels so much better it feels more arcadey and just funner like you're not instantly dying so your life like i don't want to die in this game when i'm playing it because i'm like shit call of duty you die and it's whatever you fucking die in one bullet this game it's like you have more health and everything so you want to kind of go on kill streaks it means it makes it more funner makes the game you get into it more if that makes sense because it's like you can see i go on a couple five and ten kill streaks in this and i'm like the lives mean way more in halo um so, yeah, it's just funner to play. I'll definitely get back to Call of Duty, but for now, enjoying the fuck out of Halo, man. It's pretty fun. Like I said, I uh, played COD, played some of this, and then went back on COD, and I could uh, see Call of Duty's flaws. So, I could see it for what it is, but for this game being free to play, like, it's absolutely just a blast. And I am glad that they, uh, 343 Studios listened to the community. They added Forge mode back into this game, which is very cool. If you've never known about Forge, you can pretretty much, it's like a community building application where you can custom build your own maps and everything and people have already recreated like i said it's been out for three days this update they've recreated some of the greatest like halo maps ever um you see some of the posts and stuff i know you can play them download them and play them in custom games but i am 
very eagerly awaiting for 343 Studios to put those into regular playlists. That is one thing I will say. This game's a year old. Um, I usually only play 4v4, just like the quick play or social slayer. I don't really play uh, big team modes at all, but for being a year old, it needs some more maps, man. I mean, there's not that many maps in the game. The maps that have, I'll play well, but it's like there just needs to be more of a variety of them. But overall, like I said, if you guys are kind of burnt out on Modern Warfare 2 already, try Halo Infinite. It is fun as shit. More videos to come, guys. I just wanted to put something up quick here. I've been kind of sick, so that's why my voice sounds... Uh, Kind of nasally the past uh, couple videos here, so hopefully I'll sound normal in the next one. But peace out. Thanks for watching. As always, Kanye was right about the ooze. No, I'm joking. Uh, thanks, guys. All right. Uh, catch you in the next one. That was a gay way to end this. Whatever. I'm sticking with it.